All right, what is up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to boost your FPS and lower your latency and then ping and all that stuff in Chapter 4, Season 5. This is the OG map coming back. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, fix any problems you're having with your FPS, like I said. So, jumping in, just go to your settings on the top uh, right there. And as you can see, I'm on uh, performance mode. Now, for some reason, my game is on Japanese and I don't want to restart my game because uh, I'll have to wait in a queue again. But basically, I'm going to show you guys what I have. So, full screen mode, make sure this is always on full screen, not windowed or windowed full screen, as that will like lower your latency and stuff. Uh, your resolution, if you really need the FPS, tone this down to 16 by 9 like that one. Uh, if you really need it more, do 1280 by 720. Uh, V-Sync, turn this off, you don't need that. FPS cap, just cap that one above your monitor refresh rate, so if you have like a 60 year monitor, put that at 80 or whatever it is, I think it's 120, and so on. And I play on performance mode, if you are on PC and you have the option to, I recommend playing on performance mode. And uh, then going on here, your color settings and brightness doesn't matter, it just changes how the game looks. And for these, basically just turn everything on low, as low as you can go. Uh, your mesh is on low, I'm pretty sure, it doesn't make a difference though. Uh, textures, make sure that is on high if you want your game to look good, but below if you need the FPS. And then show FPS, you could just keep that on if you want. And that's pretty much all. One more thing is... You can turn off replays at the very bottom here. This does help a little bit too. Yeah, basically just get out of there and close that, apply it, and you should be good. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your graphics settings, which is located just literally by searching up graphics settings uh, in your PC. So just click on that. And as you can see here, a list of things will show up. Uh, yours might have like nothing. Yours might have a lot of stuff. Uh, mine just automatically added some stuff. I'm not sure why. But for this video, you're going to want to add Fortnite. So if you have nothing here, you don't have Fortnite here already. Click on this part where it says desktop app like that. And then click browse. And basically, you're just going to find where your uh, Fortnite is located. So if it's in like your C drive or D drive, whatever, click on Epic Games, go to Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and click on the uh, Win64 shipping. Click that, click add, and click it, options, and click high performance now uh, like I said you can do this with like any game you want so this does work for more than just uh, Fortnite itself then I uh, recommend turning it on okay another thing is going back into your search bar here searching up adjust the appearance click that and this little menu should show up and uh, mine is custom you could do if you're like really struggling for performance click on adjust for best performance and this will obviously give you the best performance so you can uh, do whatever you like whatever you you don't really need you can just turn it off and uh yeah this kind of gives you performance boost but it's not like too much but yeah like i said if you're really struggling for fps then do this but you don't really need to and then another thing is going into your nvidia control panel so you could just right click your uh desktop here if you're on windows 11 click show more options and then click nvidia control panel and if you do have like an amd graphics card it should be something similar to this like i'm assuming amd has like some sort of app that is like a video control panel so if you do have that just open that up and you should be good now what you're going to do is go into manage 3d settings here at the top and basically just copy down all my settings that i have um yours may look a little bit different depending on your gpu but they should look fairly similar so this i'm going to go through here slowly and uh just copy this now for g-sync compatible this one uh you can just do whatever you want depending on your monitor you might not even have this but yeah just copy all of these down Man, these are the best settings that work for me at least. And always turn off virtual sync. You don't need that. It basically just caps your FPS uh, at the refresh rate of your monitor. And just helps with screen tearing and stuff. So keep that off. And another thing you could do is just go into the adjust image settings. And click on let the 3D application aside. And just slide it all the way over to performance. And then when you're done that, click on apply. And just close out of there. And the next step is going into your task manager. So... How to do that, either search it up in the search bar again, or right click your taskbar, click task manager. And uh, this should show up. So go into startup apps. It might look a little bit different for you uh, if you're on Windows 10, but it's pretty similar. So just turn off everything that you don't use or just stuff, stuff that takes up a lot of like CPU usage and memory and all that stuff. Just right click it, click disabled, and you should be good to go. And another thing that is like crucial is making sure your PC and graphics drivers are up to date. So click on the Windows thing. Search up update and this should show up. Basically just check for updates if this doesn't show up and check if you're always up to date. Um, and then another thing is going into your graphics drivers. So like I said, 
if you have an NVIDIA uh, graphics card, right click this, click NVIDIA GeForce Experience, or you could just search it up again. Go over to your drivers, and uh, this is what it should look like. I have the one that was released like a week ago, but apparently there's a new one. So download that if you can, just click download. And then when you're done the original download, click Express Download, and you should be good. And I'll show you one quick on Epic Games. Now the game is down right now because it's updating. But right click on Fortnite, click on Options, and this is what yours should look like kind of. Mine looks a little bit different maybe. But you're going to disable cosmetic streaming. Click that. It's 6 gigabytes. Uh, and then you can uninstall if you play in performance mode, which I'm assuming you do if you are uh, watching this video. You can just uninstall the uh, DX12 shaders since you don't really need them. And high resolution textures, you can delete those as well. And this will just save you a lot of space, which obviously makes your game run better. And if you really need to, you can uh, uninstall Save the World as well. But yeah, when you're done that, it should do a little download or something like that. And just click apply. And probably restart your Fortnite client or Epic Games. And one more thing uh, related to Fortnite as well. Basically, just go back to your Fortnite file. Go to Fortnite, uh, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and click on the uh, Win64 shipping again. Right-click it, click Properties, go to Compatibility, and click on Disable Full Screen Optimizations, and then click on Change High DPI Settings. Click on Override High DPI Scaling Behavior, and make sure it's on Application. Click OK, click Apply, close that, and you should be good. Yeah, I think that's all I have for you in this video, so hopefully this does help you getting the best performance in this new season. And uh, if this did help you, leave a like, subscribe, 